Till now, we had studied a lot about triangles. We had learned about them in similarity of triangles, then we had learned about them in coordinate geometry. And if you look around you in the world, you'll find out that there are many, many triangles possible. For example, let's take this iPhone. Now, if you look at this iPhone, the measurement of this iPhone are also given in the form of triangles. Now, even this iPhone can be broken into two triangles and then the length of diagonals of these two triangles can be used to find the dimensions of the iPhone. Similarly, you will find out that all the mobile phones, all the TV screens or your PC screens or your laptops are using triangles extensively. They give the dimension of screen in the form of diagonals and by using the diagonal length we can find out the exact dimensions of the screen. Now suppose you and your friend go to a park. There you see a boy flying a kite. So can you tell that how much string he has used to reach that high? If you imagine from the viewpoint of mathematics, you will see a triangle from the boy to the kite. If you look at the slide and you want to find the length of a slide, again you can imagine a triangle. Now these questions seem to be very complicated but they can be easily solved by breaking them into triangles. And this is where trigonometry comes into play. So the word trigonometry is a composite of two words that is trigon and metry. The word trigon says that it is a polygon which has three sides. So it means that trigon is a triangle and the word metry means measurement. So basically Trigonometry deals with the measurement of triangles. It deals with the different measurement of the sides of a triangle and the angles of a triangle. It also gives us some ratios which link the different sides of a triangle to different angles of the triangle. So trigonometry plays a very important role in our daily lives. All the problems which I had discussed can easily be solved by using trigonometry. Apart from this, trigonometry is mostly used in construction works, in astronomy, etc. So basically, trigonometry is a very important part of mathematics since it is extensively used in construction, in astronomy and in many design works. So in this chapter, we'll be learning about different types of trigonometric ratios. We'll be understanding how trigonometry is used to find out the values of different sides and angles of a triangle and how it links different angles of a triangle to its sides. In our next chapter, will learn about how do we apply trigonometry in our daily life problems and how do we solve different types of problems by using trigonometry. We'll be applying this to find the height of a pole, height of a kite, height of a tar, distance of a tar from some place and problems like that.